Hello everyone, fellow pilots, fellow pilots in training. Uh, this video is going to be a demonstration on how to enter waypoint coordinates into a Garmin 530 or 430. They're actually the same. Okay, starting out from the, the uh, startup. Okay, okay. Brings us into the map page. All right, first thing, we're going to go direct to. Take the uh, small cursor, move it one to the right, and you get the K. I like to use the K because that's the first one that comes up. Uh, you can make whatever you want, but if you're entering a lot of coordinates, I like to just use the K and then delete it. Um, okay, so we have the K. I know it doesn't exist, so I'm going to hit Enter. It doesn't exist. Hit Enter again. And then it brings you to the Create page. Um, I'm going to take the big knob, I'm going to move it one to the left, it's going to bring me into this, it's going to blink, small knob cursor to the right, and then I can go ahead and come in here, big knob moves it left and right, okay, small knob changes the numbers, so let's just change this to a, a six there, and then the thing to remember about this is you is you just keep hitting enter. Enter, enter, enter. There's, and, and you won't get, if you start hitting other buttons, you're going to mess it up and it's going to it's gonna get frustrating. So you've switched it to, to the position that you want, the coordinate that you've been given, and you hit enter. You hit enter again. You hit enter again. And you hit enter again. That's four enters. And then it'll bring up your line right there. I've got it. Let's move it in. I didn't move it very far, so yeah, there you go. So we're just moving a little bit past the airport there. Um, that's how to do it. Fly the pink line and fly to your destination. Okay, I hope that helps some people. There's a lot of different ways to um, use these Garmin 530s. This is the way that I found is the most helpful. So hope that helps. Thanks.